finally here at the Lone Star Flight Museum, as you can see. It's a nice, huge building. Can't wait to see all the aircraft and other things. And we'll be heading inside to show you. And yeah, we're about to get uh, all the tickets and the other information. These are one of the planes in the Mooney hangar. So you can see over there. It's the colorways of the Texas flag, which is cool. So guys, this plane right here is about to actually take off in front of us. And yeah, I can't wait for that lift off. So guys, it looks like the pilot's entrance. Yeah. The support vehicles are just left. So that means the, uh, the flight is taking off very soon. Guys, this jet's taking off. about to lift off the pilots entered and yeah so it's about to take off it's about to start a while for it to turn. It's all it's coming. Wow, look at that. Wow, that was nice. That was nice. We're about to go in the simulator. Me and Austin each got tickets for it. And yeah, we go in the simulator. As you can see, it's in this room. Can't wait to go in. Uh, me and Austin will be doing it.
so we're gonna do the exact same thing in the actual simulator, which y'all can see a better bit. So yeah. So guys, I'm hovering over the airport right now. I'm trying to put my uh, wheels down so I can land, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, okay. So our throttle is max. I'm gonna take a loop and then I'll go to the airport. So guys, I'm currently following this arrow as you can see. Oh, I'm just trying to... But yeah. Oh, you can see, is that like Houston? It's Houston's buildings over there. But yeah, I'm just trying to follow this where this arrow is pointing to right now. So yeah, I'm still going to my area. Don't know how long this will take. I'm just trying to follow this arrow best I can. Super hard to control an aircraft. Imagine the real pilots up there. I'm trying to go to the airport. It's super hard to control. I'm gonna lower the throttle a little. I was about to crash, but I straightened myself. Thanks. Why don't you turn a bit? I'm gonna take a risky turn. That should be good. Okay, just follow this area. Let me straighten myself based on this. So, I don't know, like, if I'm almost there or not, but that red letters, I think that means there's a plane, one of these people, could be awesome as well, but I'm just trying to get as fast as I can there, I'm full throttle right now. Yeah, I mean down to my flaps. Another person over there in there, I'm pretty sure that's how it is.
yeah, it's coming back. So let's go quick. Go, go, go. And here are the other planes at it. We're gonna come back to them, but like, there's this quick over here. Nice. Just that big plane. Yeah, now. So, guys, the plane's coming. Here's another plane. PC one B Swift. Yeah. This is a different colorway as a picture, but same thing. And here's the next plane. Oh, number 24. Wow. Number 24. PT19 Cornell. Yeah. That's almost exactly identical to this one. This is a nice plane. And there's another yellow one. This one's fully yellow. Yeah, but we'll go to this one. Oh, I think I've seen this plane somewhere. Anderson Greenwood. Wow. <laughs> Looks like a car almost, like a flying car. It would be cool if those wings actually folded inwards and then this could drive on the road too. That'd be cool. And wow, this is the big plane. Yeah. That is huge. And here is another motor. Oh, a motorcycle. Wow. Harley Davidson military motorcycle. Harley Davidson. That is nice. Now let's get to this plane over here. It's this DE on the side. What is this? Inflor Grasshopper. Hyper Wow. And all these planes are still running, which I can't believe, but it is. They literally took out two of them. And we saw it as well. And yeah, let's go. And this, I don't know if you saw this already, but this is another yellow plane. A lot of yellow and blue colorways and also military colorways is a big one. Yeah. Oh wow, that plane is, looks like it's coming in. That was a plane that just landed. This huge cool how those doors open like that that huge of a plane yeah is this it? is just a yeah. model but still that's how big an aircraft is yeah there's a plane and here are the stuff on the wall b24 liberator rose rosie the riveter of that Douglas DC3. I've heard of one of those types of planes. Women's Air Force Service. Oh, this is the Wasp. Wasp team. What's the other one? F6F Oh Cat. And the last one is T45 Goshawk. No, Goshawk. I think I've seen those planes before. But yeah. That took off at the airport at the beginning. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we saw some of those too. I think it was like that. Wow, look at this. It looks like a nice Jeep. And surprisingly, the company of this is Ford. <laughs> looks nice too. I'm just gonna quickly run through these planes. Oh, wow, look at this plane. The wings probably are huge. Oh, another big plane walking over the wing. Oh, wow. I think we can get in. Yeah, let's get in after. So, guys, we're about to go inside this huge plane. There's a 
a line right now. We're waiting to see till we go inside. Can't wait to go in there. So guys, we're about to go in. Good. 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 Uh, as you heard, 1950 is only one in the world that's still running. Like this can be like, taken out and flying as well, flown as well. And yeah, super fascinating. This is in the 1950s around there. It's been it's like an executive ride, as you can see, like all the seats and stuff. And it's humongous. Look at that. And yeah. As you go. And 1921 to 1945, taken to the skies. 1946 to 1975, just helicopters and outer space. Oh yeah, space ships. And path of greatness, higher, faster, and farther, 1976 to today. So what you're seeing right now is a Texas Aviation Heritage. And you can just see it's basically just a chronological order of what's the history of the flight is just all about starting from as you can see dreaming of the flight and the actual liftoff and the first uh, airplane ever built like the Wright brothers um, used in many wars like World War II. What you all are seeing right now is the Texas Aviation Hall of Fame. It shows many like important figures, leaders, and role models in the whole history of aviation. Um, it just has important role models and other people that are important as well. So this is basically an amazing museum to just understand the history from beginning all the way to current age of the aviation history. And yeah, you, everyone should visit it, it's super cool. Now we're we'll going to lab to experiment. Guys, this is, to see how much things should weigh on each planet. So let's start with the Earth. Like an average weight, not a moon. Way heavier. It's the same rocket. It's super cool. So this could be it for today's video. We experienced so many things and learned more about how to fly planes and other things about. Them. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed. We are in the Lone Star Flight Museum in Houston, Texas. If you didn't know already. We're gonna end off our video here. See y'all later.